This video is about waves. The diagram, the red line, shows a transverse wave. That means the wave motion is at 90 degrees to the direction of the wave travel. So the wave is travelling in this direction, but the vibration is going up and down. Now, the labelling is quite simple. At the top it says, this is A. Now obviously it's a wave, so we can put that on there straight away. This is a wave. The distance between two consecutive crests, the tops of the wave, or indeed two consecutive troughs, or two consecutive centres, now that will be from here to there. This is not the same, this is only half a wave. That is a full wave. So the distance between here and here is a wavelength. Now the symbol for wavelength is called a lambda. It's that there, and it's like an upside down Y. We say lambda. So put that there. Wavelength is lambda. This, as we've said previously, is the top of the wave. We call it crest. The crest of the wave. And the bottom of the wave here, we call a trough. Now, the amount that the wave goes up from the centre point to the top, that is called the amplitude of the wave. And the symbol for amplitude is very simply the letter A. Now, if you read the questions at the bottom, the number of complete wavelengths which pass one point in one second, and that's called the frequency. Put that there, the frequency. In a sound wave, a high frequency means a high pitch. And finally, in a sound wave, a large amplitude means a big, that is volume. A large amplitude is a big volume. 